Hi everyone, I have a plan with me for you today. I know it's been a while. Thank you so much for your patience. This week I am using a kit from Planneresque, one of my favorite shops and I adore Ashley as well. So in today's plan with me, I am going to talk about something brave I did, which probably isn't that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things, especially to some of you, but for me, it was quite scary. So. I will talk about that as we get into the plan with me. The first thing that I'm doing is putting down the washi strips. The kit actually came with two of them, which I stacked on top of each other, but I like that they're separate because if I wanted to, I could have used one and brought down my days further or farther, which I do all the time, as many of you guys know. The next thing I'm doing is putting down the glitter headers. These are from my shop. I decided to alternate three colors this week that I thought matched well with the kit. So while I finish that up and start my usual sidebar, I'll give you some context on what I did this week. So basically, I took this class a couple years ago actually now. It was one of my first upper division computer science courses. It was on the theory of computability. It was insanely difficult. One of the most difficult, if not the most difficult class that I took so far at UCSD. And I had this really intimidating professor, or I thought he was intimidating because just the way he lectured and the fact that the class was so difficult, etc. And so this quarter, I took another class with the same professor, it's a computer security class, and I knew that it was going to be a difficult class just because of the professor and the material that we're studying. Computer security is a pretty difficult topic. Anyway, I knew that I was going to have to dive in, work really hard if I wanted to pass this class. Not just pass this class, but do well, which that's a whole nother story. Okay, so we'll get into that a little bit later. Sorry, this is it's kind of hard to talk and explain what I'm doing at the same time. So for the sidebar, I just tracked my happy mail and that was pretty much it. Everything else is decoration. On Monday, the first thing that I put down is this Futz Monday sticker from Once More With Love Over a Half Box. And then I had a meeting at Starbucks for one of my classes. So I used a rose colored days foiled sticker. I think that's silver foiled. In the afternoon, I had to study, so I put down a full box with a study sticker from Soda Pop Studio, and that was just a really long... What the heck is going on here? Oh, I took... I think I cut that clip out, but I took the full box back up and cut it because I wanted to mark something else, so I just cut the full box to make it a little bit smaller. So below that, I put down a little things with the phone icon because I had to make reservations for my graduation brunch and dinner before class that day. In the evening, I did some sticker layering with a flag, a lecture sticker from my shop, and a binder paper sticker from Moonlight Paper Co. I love the way that that turned out. And then in the evening, I put a not my day munchkin, I mean a sad munchkin, and wrote not my day because that day my partner, who I met at Starbucks that morning, texted me in the afternoon and was like, I'm dropping the class. So that put me in a little bit of a frenzy. On Tuesday morning, I slept in, so I put this unicorn sleeping from Frank Hartsview. And then in the afternoon or during the day, I had to RSVP to my fraternity banquet. I also had to do homework, so I used a half box with a coffee cup from Sweet Kawhi Design, one of my absolute favorites. She is so cute. And a laptop sticker that came with the kit, I believe. And then I had to get groceries. And in the evening, I had dinner and meal prepped with Priya, who is my fraternity brother as well as good friend. So again, did some sticker layering with a silver foiled arrow from Sesavi, a munchkin from Once More With Love. And I just wrote what we did. Oh, by the way, the pen that I'm using this week is a Papermate Flare which I never usually use because of the thick tip, but I really like how bold it turned out this week. So on Wednesday, this is where my brave deed comes in. I am so dramatic. I'm sorry, guys, but guys, I was so nervous. So basically this entire quarter, what I did was I went to my professor's office hours and sorry if you can hear my bracelets dangling. I should take those off before I record the voiceover. So I was scared out of my mind, like seriously, every single time before I was like, oh my gosh, like I don't want to do this, I'm so nervous, but I did it anyway, so that was like my mantra, like be scared and do it anyway. And part of my fear was that I thought like everyone's going to think I'm stupid, I'm not smart enough, I don't know what I'm talking about. 
but that's not the point, you know, the point is that, and I kept telling myself this and, you know, fake it till you make it, the point is that you're showing up willing to learn and that's something in and of itself. But anyway, for this week's office hours, I thought that I would take it a step further because we talked about a topic in class that I enjoyed and I grew to absolutely adore my professor as well, which is something I wasn't expecting. So I decided that I would ask him out for coffee because there's this coffee with a professor thing at my school and basically ask him for an informational interview. And that was a whole nother ball game of scariness. Hence the Be Brave sticker down at the bottom of the sidebar, which by the way is from a Mombi sticker book that I got, I believe, at Hobby Lobby. So that's what I did, and I was... Oh, my mom's calling me. Okay, sorry about that. I lost my train of thought, but I think what I was trying to say is that every part of me was telling me to play it safe and play it small but this topic and this professor was something that I was curious about and that I wanted to learn more about so I did it anyway and it was a really rewarding experience this is something that I would have never done before ever and having done it was so empowering so that's why I wanted to share it with you so let us know in the comments below if you've ever done something brave or went way out of your comfort zone how you felt about it or what you gained out of it or what you lost out of it I think this would be a great and empowering topic of discussion and this was inspired by you are a badass which is the book that I'm currently reading which many of you have express that you love as well. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Moving back to the plan with me, the graduation countdown up at the top is also from Planneresque. On Thursday morning, I wanted to do yoga and then I had another meeting for my classes. That coffee cup is from Once More With Love. The do stickers on Wednesday and Thursday are from Planner Gems. I had to pick up my cap and gown on Thursday, so I used a silver foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts. The voiceover sticker, I mean the microphone sticker is from Sweet Kawaii Design. Again, the binder paper sticker is from Moonlight Paper Co. The Delta Sigma Pi I made for myself and we had an event that night called TFTI. Triton Food Tasting Invite. Triton's is our school mascot. By the way, on Wednesday, sorry for jumping around, that emoji sticker with the confused eyes, that's from Chrissy and Designs. Friday was a lazy day, so I just put a half box with the lazy day sticker that came with the kit on top of it because I wanted it to stand out more. And then I put down an event sticker with an icon that came with the kit. Those icons and the really mini ones you see both are from the kit. I needed, I wanted to do a face mask that day and then again it was a lazy day so I put a munchkin that says I have done nothing at all today over a deco sticker. I used a glittery airplane sticker from my shop to mark that my sister and her boyfriend went to Asia that day. And then in the evening, I FaceTimed Josh and I put a hashtag geeking out sticker from the Once More With Love Nerdy Munchkins sheet because I was watching security videos to prepare for the informational interview with my professor and because I was interested. So on Friday and Saturday, I was pretty lazy because the thing about going out of your comfort zone and being brave, I think for an introvert like me, who's extremely shy, for the most part, it just takes so much out of you. Like I had an emotional hangover after that, which, oh my gosh, I know it sounds so dramatic, but it's true. Like I was so overwhelmed afterwards and like before and all that I think it just takes its toll on you but for the weekend the first thing that I put down was the weekend banner I love planner-esque weekend banners they're so cute and then I put down this I can't even adult sticker from creative Keo with a nope sticker with the middle finger sticking out of the bed that's from Bubba Bear Studios I put a full box in the center of the day and then another full box checklist for the evening I wanted to make my evening pretty productive because I was so lazy in the morning. So I used a candle sticker from Let's Make It Sparkle, the cleaning girl, which came in the kit, which I absolutely love. I think that's the cutest icon ever. The nail sticker is from Chrissy and Designs. And then the microphone, like I said earlier, is from Sweet Kawaii Design. On Sunday, I cut a full box to make room for the glitter header. I had to do my programming assignment pretty much all day, so because there was a bit of space at the top, I put 
an event sticker there and then a programming assignment sticker at the top which I made for myself. The coffee girl with the big sunglasses is from Pink Paper Plain. I'm just messing around here because I wanted to incorporate that laptop icon but it just wouldn't fit and I didn't really want to cover up the pretty full box anymore so I just left it out. After that I replaced the event sticker with a washi strip and then I put that event sticker at the bottom because I needed to get some groceries. I went to get a poke bowl so I used a munchkin to mark that and then in the evening I just had to work on the tasks that I didn't finish. So I put an event sticker and then a big piece of deco at the bottom. So that is about everything for this plan with me. Let me show you what stickers I have left. Obviously a lot of stickers left because the kit came with so much. I believe you can purchase these sheets separately at Planarest's shops, just so you guys know if you don't need to use everything. Thank you so much for your support and for letting me share my stories with you. I am going to end with this quotation from Glennon Doyle Melton. Be messy and complicated and afraid and show up anyway.